Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I was baptized at the age of 11 and joined the altar service at my parish, St. Michael's, for 13 years before moving on to focus on my career. It was during this absence from ministry that I became a lost sheep, running away from church for almost two years. There was nothing to hold or keep me rooted to church anymore. I had not gone for confessions for a very long time. Because I used to think, why would I need to confess to a priest when I can just simply confess directly to God, as and when I felt the need to? Which of course, in the end, led to, what's the point? Go confessions for what? Sunday masses really felt like an obligation for me, but no choice. I still had to go for mass. I often skip masses, and on Sundays, even when I'm at mass, I may have been physically in the church, but my spirit and mind was wandering elsewhere, probably still half asleep from all my night activities. The turning point in my life came when I attended the conversion experience retreat held at Catholic Spirituality Centre, which was conducted by then Father William Go. I was like, all right, nothing to lose. Just go attend this retreat and see what it was like. But honestly, deep inside me, I was quite sceptical as to what this retreat could do. But I still decided to go with an open heart and an open mind. And to my surprise, at the retreat, our almighty surgeon, Dr. Jesus Christ, replaced my heart of stone with a heart of flesh. During the Stations of the Cross, I received the most priceless gift of God's love, Jesus dying on the cross to redeem me. I finally made my confessions to a priest after so many years, and his mercy, forgiveness, and compassion felt so real, so tangible. After this four-day spiritual surgery, I felt a strong passion to share His love, mercy, and compassion in the same way that I had experienced them. This also led to a strong desire to mend and develop an intimate relationship with God. After the retreat, I returned to the altar service ministry and also became more involved with the parish. But note this, all this while, there was still no thoughts of the priesthood. In fact, throughout my life, I had never considered the priesthood. I had always wanted to have a family of my own, with probably at least two kids, a boy and a girl. I even recall on a few occasions when I was younger, when my mother and even my godmother would go around telling people that they were praying for me to be a priest. And I would always stare angrily at them and give them this, please stop doing all this look. But lo and behold, six months after my conversion experience, as I was attending an holy hour adoration at St. Michael's, and during the silent meditation, I was staring blankly at the crucifix in church. Suddenly, out of nowhere, appeared a vision of an ordination mass happening right there before the sanctuary at St. Michael's. The vision only revealed someone lying prostrate in front of the sanctuary before the actual ordination rites, but it did not reveal to me who was the one getting ordained. A few days later, I found myself surfing the seminary's website. There was this page on the website where it states certain signs if a young man was called to the priesthood. So as I was reading through the signs listed, I saw myself agreeing with majority of them. You feel drawn to a greater involvement to church life. You desire a closer relationship with God, just to mention a few points it suddenly dawned on me that God was possibly calling me to the priesthood. And my first reaction was, cannot be. 
You must be joking, right, God? Me, priesthood? Such a sinful and broken person, and you want me to be a priest? How can that be? God definitely had a great sense of humor. At that point in my life, I was actually very happy at my job. I had made lots of friends. I was paid well enough to support my lifestyle. But he called and invited me to a different way of life. One that would offer me joy and peace that the world could not offer. One that was everlasting, not only on earth, but in on heaven in, with him. A joy and peace that is deeply rooted with love, faith, and trust. Throughout my discernment, even up to today after entering the seminary, there have been many occasions where I, I had doubted God's call for me. But throughout every occasion, He also showed me how much He loves me, which I never felt worthy of. Sometimes even felt guilty that I had not loved Him back enough. Every time I doubted my ability to minister, God humbles and edifies me with these words, that He does not call those who are qualified. He qualifies those whom He calls. And this has led me into a deeper relationship with Him. Thank God I'm found. Amen.